from Studio 113 in Walson Hall, this is MBC News. Hello, welcome to this week's edition of Muhlenberg News. I'm Malcolm Spurlock. And I'm Melissa Conowitz. So Malcolm, are you really excited for homecoming weekend this weekend? Absolutely. As a freshman, I'm really excited to see all the alum come back to campus and to get to know some names. How about you? I'm really excited. I'm really excited for the homecoming dance on Friday. The tent's already up. We're all ready to go. That's great. So Malcolm, can you tell us what's going on this week in news? This weekend is homecoming weekend for Muhlenberg College. Join us in welcoming hundreds of alumni and guests coming back to campus this weekend with Friday's homecoming dance from 10.30 p.m. till 1 a.m. There will be free food, music, photo booths, and glow sticks. Remember to wear white. Due to student request, the Trexler Library is extending its hours until 1 a.m. starting October 16th, allowing more resource time for Muhlenberg students. On September 19th at 6.30 a.m., there was a shooting incident which occurred in apartment building 622 North 22nd Street, which is near Allen Street. Allentown Police have five individuals in custody. The incident was immediately contained by APD. There is no danger to the campus. APD is currently has the area blocked off for the crime scene. Muhlenberg College has been nominated one of the best of Lehigh Valley's places to work. Congratulations to the faculty and staff. Finally, as we all know, we are amidst an important election season. Whichever party or candidate you support, your voice counts in this election. So we ask that you take the steps to submit your vote while away at college. If you are interested in voting in your home state, you can download an absentee ballot from absenteeballot.com. If you are not registered to vote or want to register to vote in Pennsylvania, you can do so in the Office of Community Engagement or in the lobby of Seagulls during common hour. Just look for the student-run table for voter registration. You have until October 7th. Thanks, Malcolm. This week in sports, the men's golf team finished 10th in its first two-day tournament of the year. Senior Brandon Davis led the Mules with an 153 over the 36 holes. The Lady Mules also had a great win against McDaniel this weekend with a score of 9 to 24. Senior Kristen Dornenberg had three saves and sophomore Heather Perini had a defensive save in overtime. The Mules also had another great win against McDaniel this weekend. Women's volleyball team won 3 to 1. Freshman Chelsea Kayser had back-to-back -back aces in the first set. The second set was the most dramatic of the day. At first, the Lady Mules were lacking behind in a 17 to 10 deficit and then they pulled ahead to win the set. The men's soccer team had an incredible win on Saturday. For the first 65 minutes, neither team had a score until Cody Antononi made the lone goal of the game. This was his fifth team leading goal of the season. Football also had another great win against McDaniel, ending the game with 33 to zero. Junior Corey Crichton led the defense with 11 tackles while junior, An while junior Andrew Ornemus had 10. And don't forget to check out all the homecoming games this weekend against John Hopkins. And that's all I have with sports for the weekend. So here's to Kevin with the weather. Thanks, Alyssa. So we're having some pretty good weather this week, but this weekend's not going to be so pretty. So on Thursday, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 72, low of 53, and, you know, just a small chance of rain. Friday, it's going to be mostly sunny, really nice, with a high of 76, low of 56. Eh, not too bad. 20% chance of rain this time, so it's getting a bit worse. Uh, on Saturday, we got a uh, mostly sunny day again. It's going to get hot today, 80 degrees, low of 57. Uh, chance of rain is down to 10%. Uh, That's pretty nice. But on Sunday, it's going to get a bit bad. So isolated storms, high of 65 and low of 45, so it's going to get a bit cold. Uh, chance of rain, obviously, decently high with 30%. Next week, as you can see, the fall season's really kicking in with, uh, on Monday, low, low, high is low 60s and low is low 40s. Not really good, but luckily there's 0% chance of rain. That's going to be nice. On Tuesday, we got another 60s day, but it's closer to 70, so it might get a bit warmer. Uh, low 47, another, another nice sunny day, no chance of rain. Wednesday, it's going to get back into the 70s, which is nice. And no chance of rain, it's going to be a nice sunny day. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kevin. So that's all we have for news this week. I'm Melissa Conowitz. And I'm Malcolm Spurlock. Have a great week, Muhlenberg.